are many different types of habitat across the UK and if you look closely deep within them you may be lucky enough to spot one of our native snake species. These are the grass snake, the adder and the smooth snake. Since none of these snakes are actually native to Ireland, for the rest of this video I'm going to be calling them the British snakes. Subscribe to Ferro Forest to keep learning about UK nature. So, which habitats do we need to look in to find these snakes? And when is the best time to look for them? Let's start by looking at the ranges for each of these species. If you're looking for them outside of regions they're known to live in, then you might be looking for a while. Grass snakes, despite being our most common snake species, are typically only found in England and Wales. They're very rare in Northern England and there have only been a few verified sightings of them in Southern Scotland. Across the rest of the mainland, they're more common, with the south of England being the best place to attempt to look for them. The adder is more widespread, with sightings possible across England, Wales and Scotland. They're actually the most northern ranging snake species in the world, even being seen up in the Arctic Circle, so are far more capable of being able to thrive up in the Scottish uplands. Records of adders are patchy around the Midlands, Merseyside and Greater London, while the south of England heathlands provide some of the best opportunities for sightings. Smooth snakes are our rarest snake species, and they're also particularly good at hiding away, so you're very unlikely to encounter one. Their range is restricted to the sandy heathlands in the south of England. Natural populations still exist in Dorset, Hampshire and Surrey, while additional populations have been reintroduced by people in West Sussex and Devon. Are any of our snake species found where you live? If so, have you ever spotted one? Now that we know a bit more about which region in Britain you need to be in to spot a snake, let's have a look at what specific habitats in each of these regions each of our snake species is usually found in. Grass snakes favour amphibian prey, so they're most likely to be found close to water sources. You can find them in a range of habitats, such as wetlands, woodlands, grasslands, heathlands, farmlands, and even sometimes in your own garden, if you've got lots of dense vegetation and a pond. Grass snakes are most likely to be seen within your own garden, simply because you're most likely to spend more of your time there than in their other habitats. As they're Britain's only egg-laying snake species that leaves their eggs to develop out in the environment, you're quite likely to come across grass snake eggs in piles of old grass cuttings or in compost heaps. However, all UK reptiles are protected by law at all stages of their life, so if you do see these eggs, it's best to just leave them alone to develop. Adders tend to be found in open and partially open habitats, where they can both find shelter and bask in the sun. You'll typically find them in open woodlands, grasslands, heathlands and moorlands. Closer to human settlements, you tend to spot adders on south-facing road and rail embankments. Smooth snakes are one of our most elusive snake species. Not only are they extremely rare and have a restricted range, but they prefer to remain concealed as much as possible, so even if you're near one, you might not be able to see it. Their preferred habitat is sandy heathlands. So, now that we've covered where you're likely to see British snakes, let's take a look at when you can see them. At the end of September and into October, all three native British snakes will enter their hibernation sites. Hibernation is the period of time when an animal spends winter in a dormant state. Our reptiles rely on the warmth of the day to regulate their body temperature and let them be active. They must spend the winter without activity to ration their energy reserves until the weather is warm enough for them to gain enough energy to hunt again. Grass snakes will hibernate in warm, humid places, like within tree roots, fallen trees, compost heaps, unused mammal burrows, rock piles and deep leaf litter. They can be seen sharing hibernation sites with adders, which favour a dry, sheltered place to hibernate. Smooth snakes will hibernate underground. The first snakes to emerge from hibernation are adder males in March. This is quickly followed by female adders and all grass and smooth snakes throughout April and into early May. You might see grass snakes in a group known as a mating ball, where multiple males are trying to fight each other for access to a single female to breed with. Meanwhile, male adders will be taking part in a fighting display known as the Dance of the Adders, where they can lift themselves up off the ground and try and overpower each other to be able to secure access to females. Unfortunately, with how rare they are, not much is known about the breeding behaviours of smooth snakes, 
although a few have been sighted during mating and they've even been sighted as late as September, so it's thought that maybe females might be able to breed more than once in a year. Grass snakes are the only British snakes that lay eggs. This means that in June and July, female grass snakes will search for warm, damp, sheltered locations such as rotting vegetation, manure piles and compost heaps, which they will use as a nest to lay between 10 and 40 eggs. Multiple grass snakes often lay at one site, so more than 250 eggs could accumulate in the same place. Between August and September, the eggs will hatch into newborn grass snakes. This is also the time of year that both adder and smooth snake females will give birth. Adders and smooth snakes are known as oviviviparous, which means that although they do produce eggs, the eggs hatch while they're still inside the female's body, and she later gives birth to the live young. Newly born adders are known to survive on their fat reserves over the first winter, and don't actually start feeding until they've emerged from their first hibernation but I couldn't find in the research as to whether the same is true with smooth snakes. With new snakes born, it's now time for the cycle to begin again. Around September time, all snakes will make their way back to hibernation sites to rest up ready for the warm weather to return. Give this video a like if you've enjoyed learning about British snakes, and be sure to check out some of my other videos if you'd like to continue learning about UK wildlife.